These are the instructions for using Bashlands number 76 Patriot fall restraint system. Connecting the Patriot to the pole. Begin by passing the connector body around the pole. While holding the handle, twist the connector key 90 degrees and insert it into the connector slot. Allow the key to turn back so the ears of the key engage in the body of the connector. Slide the connector key past the latch gate, locking it in place. Connecting the Patriot to your belt. Using the locking carabiners that are opened by sliding the gate toward the nose of the hook and turning it 90 degrees, connect the carabiners to the D-rings of your tool belt. The tail or free end of the red, white, and blue lines should be to the outside for easier adjustment. Adjusting the Patriot for climbing. Adjust the black rope by holding the end of the line, grabbing the nylon handle, and sliding the adjuster down the line until the handle spikes are in the four and eight position and the rope rollers are touching the pole. This configuration must be maintained when climbing or working in the Patriot. Adjusting the pole rope when climbing or descending. When climbing, the black rope will need to be shortened as the pole tapers. This is done by grabbing the end of the line, placing your right hand on the pole to lean in slightly, removing the tension on the line, and at the same time pushing the end of the rope away from the body at a 45 degree angle. The angle of the push is critical for easy adjustment. If the angle is too steep toward the pole or too shallow away from the pole, the line will not slide through the adjuster. When descending, the rope is lengthened by leaning in and removing the tension on the line and sliding the adjuster back down the rope, lengthening the line. The correct distance from the pole is maintained with the rope adjuster secured to the inner red, white, and blue line. This adjuster controls the overall length of the inner line. To shorten the inner line, lean in slightly to reduce the tension on the line and pull the end of the line toward the pole. To lengthen the inner line, lean in slightly, removing the tension on the line, and with the thumb inside the carabiner, push the eye of the cam forward, sliding the adjuster down the rope as needed. Practice these movements, including inserting the key to the connector body, and both the inner and outer rope adjustments on the ground before adding the distraction of climbing. Keep practicing them until they become natural, once you develop the muscle memory, your concentration will be on the work rather than just getting to the work. Climbing with the Patriot. Place the Patriot on the pole with the handles at the four and eight position, slightly above the D-rings, and adjust the inside rope so that they are the correct distance from the pole. Control the rope tails of the Patriot and your secondary lanyard. This can be done in a variety of ways, including handline hooks, bug bags, knots, and tool loops. It is important to keep the ends of the rope away from your gaffs as you climb. Using the handle, simply flip the Patriot up, then step up until the Patriot is again slightly above the working D's on your tool belt. Repeat this action as you climb. Keep the correct form, use a smooth, easy motion, and climb with the legs to limit pole sway. When descending, Maintain similar form, keeping the Patriot level two or above your working D-rigs. Working in the Patriot. To move around the pole, simply pull or push the Patriot as needed. For a little extra reach, simply lengthen the inner red, white, and blue rope. Avoid sitting back with your hand on the cam as the adjuster could rapidly slip down to the splice. It could be an exciting ride. Keeping the handles in the four and eight position allows the rope to move easier and makes it much easier to turn in your belt. If the handles move back to the three and nine position, it will make it much harder to turn. Keep the Patriot level or above the working D-rings of your tool belt to limit the free fall distance to less than two feet. Transitioning an obstacle. Place a secondary lanyard over the obstacle, connecting it to the belt then tighten the secondary to loosen the Patriot. Place slack on in the inner red, white, and blue rope. Hold the connector handle to keep the Patriot from sliding down to your feet. Pull the connector body in, then remove the key and pull the Patriot around the pole and step up. 
place the Patriot below the secondary lanyard on the pole, insert the connector key in the slot, verify the proper connection. Now tighten the Patriot inner line, then remove the secondary lanyard. Adjust the black rope as needed, now continue your climb. Transitions down are similar. Verify all connections and adjustments before removing the secondary lanyard from over the obstacle. Climb freely and climb carefully with the Patriot.